Audi's CEO slammed the brakes on EVs, giving everyone a big shock. He's not a fan of how fast political big shots are pushing EVs. Now, why is Audi's CEO waving a red flag at EVs? Is there some mysterious force behind leaders banning gas cars? Stick around till the end of this video, as we look at what's really going on with Audi's controversial stance and why it could be good news for the regular folks. So, here's the breakdown. Audi's CEO, Gernot Dollner, divulged some serious information in a recent chat. He basically told all EV makers to ease up on ditching regular engines too quickly. His message is crystal clear. Don't rush into EVs and force them on everyday people. Now, remember when Audi jumped into the electric scene with their e-tron series? Yeah, they were the trailblazers. But here's the more covering issue. They've been moving at a turtle's pace since then. Very little progress compared to their competitors like BMW. And because of this, BMW and Mercedes have left Audi in the dust when it comes to selling cars. This hesitation about making electric cars isn't just a coincidence. The CEO at Audi is totally against the EV hype and doesn't want everyone jumping on the whole trend too soon. It's not just a little delay. We're talking about significant setbacks. The much anticipated Q6A6 e-tron, which everyone has been eagerly waiting for, won't hit the roads until summer 2024. That's a two-year delay from the original plan set in 2020. And it's not just the Q6 e-tron facing this delay. Other electric models from Audi are also on hold. Take the A6 e-tron, for example. It was supposed to make a grand entrance in early 2024, but now it's been pushed back to May. I mean, really? Even Mercedes and BMW have already launched their EQEE and i5 electric sedans. CEO Dahlner is talking about putting the brakes on EVs and not wanting to overwhelm the factories and dealerships too quickly. In his own words, we first looked at what order and density of launches the organization could handle, and then in the end, we decided to spread it out to not overwhelm the team and the dealerships. It's like he's saying, let's not take on more than we can handle. Audi, being part of the Volkswagen family, had this big plan to roll out a whopping 20 new models by the year 2026. Interestingly, half of these were supposed to be EVs. However, they've made a U-turn and are now putting more emphasis on bringing in new internal combustion and plug-in hybrid models. Now, here's where it gets even more intriguing. The CEO at Audi is causing quite a stir since taking the reins. This man, who has a history of working closely with VW and Porsche bigwig Oliver Blumet, is known for his somewhat controversial style. It's noteworthy that both VW and Porsche aren't completely sold on the idea of diving headfirst into the EV race either. Porsche is secretly concocting its own hydrogen fuel in a hush-hush project called Harauni, while VW is grappling with significant consumer backlash due to subpar quality EVs and their limited range. Now let's delve into the CEO's master plan. He's all about launching EVs, but at a leisurely pace, this guy is no slouch. Having observed the EV landscape, He's noticed a shift. While initially, folks were eager to hop on the EV bandwagon, the current market is showing signs of wear and tear. EVs are loitering on dealer lots, and consumers seem more inclined to opt for hybrids over full-on EVs. His grand idea is to give us a choice, a choice between the tried and true gas cars and the shiny new EVs. For some of you, having an EV as a second city car might make sense, while others might not see the need at all. After all, EVs bring a bunch of stress and a myriad of problems that haven't really been talked about much. Now, here's the biggie. A report just uncovered some major, and I mean major headaches with EVs. Let's dive into the nitty gritty of this development. First off, we've got the battery drama. The battery is like the heartbeat of an EV, but guess what? It's having a bit of a meltdown. Picture this, you've got a super fancy phone, but the moment the weather gets a tad extreme, it starts throwing a tantrum. Well, that's what's going down with these EV batteries. They're not handling extreme weather like champs, with ranges dropping like a rock, up to 30%. And to add to the mix, the battery life is taking a hit. It's like having a racehorse that can't handle a bit of mud on the track. Now, let's shift gears to maintenance. You'd think EVs would be a breeze on the wallet for upkeep, right? Pump those brakes, my friends. Some folks are shelling out a whopping $6,000 a year just to keep their EVs in tip-top shape. According to the wise minds at Consumer Reports, EVs are about 97% more likely to throw maintenance issues your way compared to their gas-guzzling pals. That's not just a minor hiccup in the journey. We're talking about a colossal sinkhole here. Now let's dive into the topic of production overload. Thanks to the relentless political pressure, every car brand out there is churning out EVs like there's no tomorrow. 
but it seems they might be cutting corners to meet these ambitious goals, and the cracks are showing in the quality of their cars. Now, typical example is what happened on November. As we hit the end of November, car dealers across the United States found themselves grappling with a whopping 114-day supply of new EVs. Now, let's put that into perspective. The auto industry overall was sitting pretty with a 71-day supply of inventory. Traditionally, a 60-day supply was the gold standard, but now it feels like we've stepped into uncharted territory. Parking lots are overflowing with these silent, unsold electric chariots, symbols of a future that seems to be hitting pause before it even kicks into gear. You might be scratching your head thinking, but didn't I hear that EV sales were skyrocketing? Well, you're not wrong. In November, annual sales of electric vehicles in the US soared past the 1 million mark marking a whopping 50.7% year-over-year increase compared to 2022. But here's the twist in the tale. While EV sales volumes continue their ascent, inventory levels are ballooning even faster. Take the Ford 150, for instance, lounging around with a 111-day supply. Meanwhile, the Chevy Bolt EUV's inventory is at a modest 59 days. We're not just dealing with a surge in EV popularity. We're witnessing a disconnect between soaring sales and the mounting stockpiles. Even several popular models, including the Nissan Leaf, Kia EV6, and the Mustang Mach-E, find themselves in a bit of a sticky situation with more inventory than usual. Even the mighty Tesla isn't exempt from this problem. Despite the Tesla Model Y claiming the title of the best-selling vehicle globally in 2023, a recent hiccup forced Tesla to recall nearly all its US-sold vehicles for a necessary software update. Now what's the complaint on the side of the dealership? Well, dealerships are ringing alarm bells, expressing worries that a substantial number of US customers aren't quite ready to make the switch to electric cars. An impressive 4,000 dealerships nationwide penned a letter to President Joe Biden, urging the administration to ease up on its electric vehicle mandates. Isn't that ridiculous? I mean, 4,000 persons, wow? Even Mercedes-Benz, Audi's arch rival, is caught in the electric vehicle quagmire. Mercedes's electric wonders are spending a solid three months on dealership lots before finding a buyer. On average, it takes them 22 days to sell their battery-powered EQ models, while BMW and Audi are slightly more fortunate. Dealers are also expressing a sentiment that electric vehicles lack the allure that comes with Mercedes's gasoline-powered flagship models. One executive dropped a suggestion, saying EVs should be more than just vehicles, they should be downright irresistible. The S-Class and AMG GT Coupe have stayed in the game because people dream of owning them. On the flip side, doesn't quite spark the same excitement. Meanwhile, over at Volkswagen, Audi's parent company, they're tightening the purse strings, implementing some belt tightening measures to stay on the right financial track. It's like the entire automotive universe is tiptoeing on a precarious tightrope right about now. And here's a plot twist, Tesla's NACS, which is the North American charging standard, is about to take the throne as the official charging standard in North America. It's almost as if Tesla is laying down the law of the charging game. So, what exactly did Audi's CEO say that has tongues wagging? In a candid interview, Dulner floated the idea of spacing out their EV launches, steering clear of overwhelming their team and dealerships. It's as if he's navigating a ship through a storm, ensuring not a single piece of cargo is lost. This strategic shift, confirmed by Dolner, is all about sidestepping bottlenecks in both production and sales. Audi is feeling the heat to revamp its lineup, especially with heavyweights like Mercedes and BMW gearing up with their flashy new EV models. But it's not just about rolling out new models, it's about doing it with finesse. Despite the Q6 e-tron hitting a few bumps, Audi is standing firm on its commitment to unveil 20 new models by 2026, with half of them going all in on the electric vibes. So what is the real challenge now? What do we have in front of us? The real challenge we're facing is how to market these EVs. It's like navigating a complicated maze filled with high costs, inconsistent infrastructure, changing regulations, and the growing presence of Chinese EVs in the market. Despite this tricky terrain, Dalner remains optimistic about Audi's future. He's putting his faith in a blend of EVs, plug-in hybrids, and good old internal combustion engines to steer Audi through this transition. With the way things are going right now, it's clear that EVs aren't the shining stars everyone initially believed them to be. Maybe we were a bit hasty in waving goodbye to combustion engines. The government is well aware, car manufacturers acknowledge it, and given the steep prices of EVs, your wallet is certainly feeling the pinch. The burning question is, 
Should car manufacturers raise their voices against the government's push for EVs? Share your thoughts down in the comments below.